Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Gold Label Baseball 16 box full case. Pick your team number three. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action on a Tuesday, October the 5th. October already, man. Uh, Brandon ended up with that last spot mojo with the Chicago White Sox. And thanks to everybody else for getting in. Now, if you see right next to Jack B's name, there's a little uh, rooftop next to his name. That means he won that spot in that filler we did. The results of that, the randomizer, is in a different video. So thanks everybody here for making this happen. I appreciate it. And I think this is our last case of gold label, at least that I saw. So thanks everybody for getting on the gold label. And keep your eye out for more. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Just check the website. Every day, every hour, every minute, just to make sure you can catch the breaks that you want to uh, to catch. All right, let's start. So one gold frame auto in each box, all card ship. Hopefully this uh, one of one kin commemorating the fall, the fall months. Hopefully a little extra mojo for all of us. So here's the gold frame. There's a card underneath there. We'll put that right on top. Remember, all, a lot of these cards have the different class levels, class level one, two, three, and with the, within each of those class levels are different numbered possibilities as well, like that Chris Bryant to 150. And all cards will ship. The black parallels don't are not numbered. The color parallels will have numbers. And then obviously there'll be the different class levels as well, one, two, and three. All right, the gold frame is going to be behind Chris Bryan, and it will be for the Braves. Chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. Jersey and autograph, 7 out of 25. These are really sharp. Love the gold frames. The jersey, the on-card auto, all looks really sharp. Matt Medlin picked up the Braves straight up. Box. Oh, the gold frame, no card underneath. All right. Yeah, no card underneath. Hey, there's Raphael Devers right up on top. We're going to see him in action shortly. It's a nice AL wild card matchup. It's going to be wild. There's Otani. 92 out of 99. It's your uh, odds on favorite for the AL MVP. What a season he's had. For the Halos, that's going to be for... For Aaron K. The frame is behind you, Darvish, and it's going to be for the Padres, Hassan Kim. Nice gold frame, nice on card autograph, Aaron K with the Friars. Next 
box. Who does everyone have tonight in the game? We have a little poll posted in the chat if you're watching live. Um, there's uh, currently 48 votes asking who will wins the AL wildcard game tonight. 60% saying uh, Garrett Cole and the Yankees. So feel free to vote if you'd like. Or if you wanted to chat in the chat, let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the team and why. There's Carlos Correa, 47 out of 99. The Correa will go to the Strohs, David. And the frame is going to be for the A's, Matt Olson. David Chan with the Oakland A's. The run total is eight tonight. I could see over. You're thinking, my Garrett Cole's on the mound. Sure, but the Yankees could go off on Eovaldi. Get six, seven runs just right there. The Yankees' problem, though, strikeouts. They mentioned that on the ESPN pregame show, but, but if Eovaldi... You know, brings his swing and miss stuff. That might that might be a little that might be a little challenging for the Yankees. There's Joe Adele to 150. I think there's a relic down here too. And there's a Dalton Varsho to 75 for Chris and the Diamondbacks. And the relic is Joe Morgan. Nice. MLB Legends Relic. It's a piece of his lumber. I think it should be game use. Yeah, it says game use right on the front. 29 out of 50. For uh, for Jack B and the Reds, he won that team in the filler. And gets a, a key cog in the big red machine. Nice one, Jack. All right, behind Sixo Sanchez is a twin, Ryan Jeffers. Minnesota, Levi won that team in the filler. All right, four boxes in, next four. Next box, <laughs> no worries, Jack. Little Joe, Joe, Joe Mojo, Tony Gwynn to 99. R.I.P. Tony Gwynn gone too soon. 
Xander Bogoch purple to 99. We'll see him in action a little bit later tonight. Actually, in about half an hour or so. Seventy-five out of ninety-nine for Jeremy and the Red Sox. There's Tony Gwynn for Aaron and the Friars to ninety-nine. And behind another Padre. Fernando Tatis Jr. is a Padre. Jake Cronenworth. You're in the crone zone. Aaron with Jake Cronenworth. All right, next box. Bobby Dalbeck. Is he in the lineup tonight? We might see him in action. There's Jazz Chisholm to 150 for Alex and the Marlins. And behind uh, Giancarlo Stanton is an Astro, Christian Javier. Rookie Auto. Going to Houston, that's David M. And David won that spot in that filler. FX, do you think you'll get to any Origins tonight? No, because that drops tomorrow on Wednesday. Can't do a new release before new release day. In fact, that's why it says WED in the title. That means Wednesday. Mike Trout purple, 23 out of 75. Just a bit off that jersey number. That's Aaron Kay with the Angels. They got the hitters. They got to work on that pitching next year. Behind Mookie Betts, we'll see him tomorrow, is gold frame Scott Rowland, 57 out of 75. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Levi, who also won the Cardinals in that filler that we did. Nice Scott Rowland. Next box. Another relic card in there. And this should 
be the frame, yes. All right, good luck, everybody. And we got a Mike Schmidt. 23 out of 50. Piece of his lumber. For the Phillies, Howard with the fight and fills. MLB Legends Relic Card. It's pretty nice. Bauer. And the frame behind Ryan Mountcastle, great season for him, is a Royal, Chris Bubich. I think he had a pretty decent season too for the Royals. That's for Brian. Won the Royals in the filler. It's the Chris Bubich. All right, boys and girls, we are halfway through this full case gold label break. Thanks, everyone, for getting in and making this happen. This is pick your team at number three. We've got about another 15, 20 minutes in this break. There's the frame. And I'll do a quick uh, frame and relic recap at the end of the video, too. Buster Posey. Bregman to 35, Arenado to 99. My Dodgers will be facing him tomorrow. So you can see that the Bregman is out of 35, but it's a purple parallel, right? I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that this is the class three level right here. It's in the print in the back. So the class three purples are out of 35. All right, gold frame is Evan White, 53 out of 75. Nice parallel, gold frame, Richard. Richard Holman with the Seattle Mariners. Looks like they were ahead of schedule this year. Could be a good sign for their, their uh, near and long-term future. He's re-signed Sensatella and uh, Chrome, CJ Chrome. How much did they give Sensatella? I didn't see it. They give him five years? 50 million. Hmm. <laughs> it's like 10 million bucks a year for cents. Interesting. Fringe five starter. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, this is why they'll never win. I don't know if Sensatella was the right guy. All right, it's confirmed. Red Sox are going to win, and it's going to be 3-1. Whoa, three to one. whoa, three to look one. at this. Jason Jaspi just pulling this right here, confirmed. Out of, one. out of Bowman Sterling. They're going to win. Three <laughs> autos on <laughs> one card, they're going to win 3-1. <laughs> That's a really cool auto. That's out of Bowman Sterling. We got some of that on the website, folks. Jaspi'scasebreaks.com. There's a Brayu to 50 if you want to get in some group breaks of Bowman Sterling baseball. There are multi-autos in there. That's going to be awesome.
All right, the Abreu will go to Brandon and the White Sox. And the gold frame, Pete Alonzo reveals a red, Tyler Stevenson. So Jack B with, a, with some old school, Joe Morgan, and now the new school, Tyler Stevenson. Yeah, he is, Trey Turner as an MVP would make sense. Jack B, because I think he leads the uh, leads. He might lead the league, might lead hitters in wins above replacement. So I, th I think he served. There is a case for. I think he'll get some MVP votes, but I don't know if he'll actually get the MVP. I think the NL MVP odds. Let's see what the latest N NL MVP odds are. It's got to be either Harper or. Yeah, um, I think as of a couple days ago, it looks like the AL MV, NL MVP odds, Bryce Harper, minus 203. So pretty pretty favored. Juan Soto, almost 2-1, to one, plus 193. Tatis Jr.'s odds fell a lot. Um, and he, he's at plus 775. Trey Turner is like 100-1. to one. Is the Soto lead in war? I guess it depends. I think I was looking. We were looking at uh, at this yesterday. According to Fangraphs, Trey Turner leads leads uh, with six point nine WAR. Juan Soto is six point six. So Trey Turner leads baseball uh, hitters anyway, qualified hitters, six point nine WAR. Then it's Vlad Jr. at six point seven, and then Bryce. Marcus Simeon and Juan Soto are all tied at 6.6. .6. Jose Ramirez, 6.3, etc., etc. There's Acuna Jr., 122 out of 150. That one will be for Matt and the Braves. Your frame behind Luis Robert is Pete Alonzo. Nice, the polar bear. Like that Mets logo in the background right there too. It's pretty sharp. That'll be for Kerry. Kerry Gaines and the New York Metropolitans. But yeah, I, th I think Trey Turner will get some MVP votes. I don't know if he'll actually win, but I don't know. It, it, I mean, 100 to one. Am I putting am I putting like a, a few bucks on Trey Turner at 100 to one, plus 10,000? As a long shot, I mean, maybe the baseball writers will just will just go nuts. They just go oppo oppo the Vegas odds. In the AL, it looks pretty much set. AL MVP Shohei Otani is like minus ten thousand. He's a he's a huge favorite. Meaning, I think you have to you have to put ten thousand dollars down just to win a hundred bucks back. Or something. Um, Vlad Jr. Eh, probably some value in Vlad Jr. Plus uh, fifteen hundred, so fifteen to one if you want to convert that. Next box, there's Randy Arozarena, 34 out of 75. He might win, uh, I think his rookie cards are last year, but he still has rookie eligibility this year. He's most likely your AL Rookie of the Year. Joe Adele, 94 out of 99. Joe Adele going to the Angels. Frank Thomas. And Tucker Davidson, Braves. Matt Medlin. Oh, I kind of like that. The, the flag goes across the outfield wall instead of the massive one over the field.
Final four boxes. The fans get to hold up the flag? That's pretty cool. Or are they just touching it? Either way. Joey Bart. 55 out of 75. Pretty good national anthem. I'd, I'd give that. I'd give that uh, on, on on Joe's national anthem rankings ratings. That's like forty eight out of fifty stars. Maybe forty nine out of fifty stars. There's Mitch White, seventy two out of seventy five. That's a good one, Jack. What's the over under on the length of this game? I would put it at four hours. Yeah, but I think it might be four. Four hours twenty one minutes, says Jack. So this is for my Dodgers, David, with the boys in blue. We'll see them in action tomorrow. Rex, what's up? Yeah, what a voice, right? I think she was on the voice, right? Right. All right, last chance to vote. I think at the end of this break, we're going to end the poll. Who wins the IL wild card game tonight? 54 votes. Of the 54 votes, 59% says Garrett Cole and the Yankees. So if you uh, feel like getting your vote in, it's in the chat. My colleague Thomas, big Yankees fan. So he, he's all, all over the Yankees, all on the Yankees. There's Anthony Rizzo, who's a Yankee. 20 out of 25. Class 3 red parallel. There's Walker Bueller. We'll, no, we will not see him in action tomorrow. He pitched recently. Maybe game one of the NLDS. As Rafael Devers, we will see him tonight. Nine out of 50. Jeremy Port won the Red Sox. Gets the Devers card. Walker Bueller to 150 for the Dodgers. And there's Cubs edition of Rizzo. Or Jonathan. 20 out of 25. Yeah, Carl, I would love to do that Sterling. Sterling 3 is down to 18 teams, ladies and gentlemen. And then we got Esteban Floriel. Yankees, that'll be for Mark. All right, next one. Maybe we'll get into some, some rich people's accounts too, right? Maybe they should pay some taxes. 55 votes, 58% saying the Yankees. Get your votes in. And if you want more baseball, that 2021 Bowman Sterling Baseball, pick your team three, half case from a fresh case. A lot of teams left, 18 teams left. Go and get it. There's Clayton Kershaw to 99. Poor Clayton Kershaw. 
Exited that start early recently. There's Mike Trout right there, and another Mitch White. Another Mitchell White for the Dodgers. David. Who's doing the first pitch? Yeah, I agree, Rex, but I don't know. Chances, chances are, I mean... They've been screwed for decades, so why would it be any different now? It doesn't really change all that much. I did hear from our, from my tax person and our, our accountants here for the business that I think most states will be cracking down on, uh, on uh, businesses to make sure that rather than individuals. But I think more corporations will, will get looked at you know, small, medium, large businesses to make sure that that they're doing paying what they need to pay, as opposed to like chasing after individuals, which is a waste of time. I think government knows that too. We got Javier Baez to seventy-five. I don't know who's going to win this matchup, Rex. I want to say, betting-wise, there's value on the Red Sox. But you got to think the, the Yankees are going to pull this one off. We'll see. I think it's going to be a good game. Probably a long game. It'll probably be like five hours long. And the last one is Kenny Lofton, 40 out of 50. Charles with the Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. Getting the speedster. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty solid break. Gold label baseball. Here's a quick little recap. I appreciate everybody getting into the action. Thank you. And Tucker Davidson went to Matt Medlin and the Braves. We got a couple nice relics. Mike Schmidt was a nice relic. Joe Morgan. Hassan Kim. And we started off with the chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking those. We've got plenty of baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Buy your spots. Buy your teams. Get into the random number block fillers, and let's get them knocked out. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.